Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, today I'm gonna do the review of this 1080p 35 US dollars um, standalone camera. And of course, guys, I did the unboxing already, and I already talked about the affordable price. For 35, you get a bunch of features, and all those features are basically top tiered for. Um, for this device see you only pay 35 and you get a bunch of features that is not included in some other cameras now let me just show you what these features are all right so the features as shown here guys as you can see you can pause at any time and of course this is the review all right guys i have the camera set up here just in a makeshift setup i have my subject as you can see here this small um, kid's toy and that's what the camera will be focusing on and of course I have the antenna connected it came in the box so I had to just basically screw it in and of course I have it connected to the um, power outlet and of course guys right away I have the app already on my phone so just to show you that everything is actually working you'll see the main interface of the app and this is what you see when you log in as I said guys this is just a review so down here you see device, messages, cloud service, and there is the mine feature. And of course, right up here, you have the power. You could power off the camera. You could go into settings. You could share the feed, or you could access the cloud um, storage. Sorry, the cloud storage. So right away, you can see a preview, and it's now loading. And of course, as you can see on screen right now, just keep an eye. You'll notice that this is live. So you'll notice my hand in front of the camera. And I have moved the my hand. There's a slight delay as the transmission between the router and then between the device. So of course, guys, the you can see the image quality, and this is in HD. If you don't really notice it is HD, I can switch the quality from HD to standard quality. So I'm just gonna switch over to standard quality. And there you go. The feed, and you can see the frames per second and of course guys the performance is not bad sometimes there is a little bit of lag but of course they recommend that you connect using the ethernet port and not wi-fi for the best connection but in my case i'm using the wi-fi so i'm just going to switch back to um, hd and there you have the mic feature and i'm just going to test out the mic so off screen just listen for the mic i'm going to speak here and of course you should hear the mic through the onboard mic this okay and you heard it just now and of course guys the sound is transmitted through the um, camera as well so I can hear what somebody says around the perimeter or the base of the camera so all I have to do is just mute the sound if I don't want to get the sound and there you go it will kill the sound so I'm just gonna turn that off and of course you can see the more features so if I tap on more you can see I can record and record will record everything to my phone, right? And of course, right now I have a SD card, a 128, which is the max that is supported. So let me just show you the light feature, guys. It's set on auto and just notice in the background as I turn the lights on. And there you go. As you notice, the light is turned on. You can see on screen and you can see down there. And of course, this is the spotlight for night functionality. So I can turn this on. And of course, if I go back in here, I can turn it off or I can set it to auto. It's okay to set it to auto. You notice the camera readjusts. And right there, you can see. Now, next, I'm going to turn the lights out. All right, guys, we're in the dark. So I don't want to um, pick up the infrared. But as you can see, guys, you can still see in the dark as the room is now dark. But you do notice the infrared is on. And once the infrared is on, you notice it lights up the um, the toy on the table. And of course, you can see stuff in the background just the same. The room is pitch dark. I'll just remove the camera. And you can see it's just pitch dark. But of course, the camera's infrared is working fine. And of course, due to the camera, I'm just going to turn it on the camera. You notice that's the infrared light in the background. And of course, it works quite nice. All right, guys, so another cool thing is if I want, I could take a snapshot and I would save the snapshot to my phone and not to the device. 
and of course down here you notice it says you have missed six messages or notifications of course guys there's the cloud services that you have to pay for separately and of course um, that's just a premium feature it's not necessary so I don't use that um, feature because of course um, I'd like to monitor my system myself and the cloud storage is not necessary as the 128 gigabyte um, micro SD card is more than enough if you look at playback right here guys I can hit playback you notice this is a fragmented timeline and of course each time there is movement or any activity the camera itself will just go ahead and record specific um, portions in time so the timeline is easy to handle all you gotta do is just stop and you notice right now I'm in playback mode and let's notice I'm just gonna rewind and I'm gonna take it back right there and you'll notice the timeline just now and it's basically playing back something that I did in the past so as you can see right there that was before when I had the camera on the desk it's now playing it back and what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna increase the playback that was before and as you can see I can move forward and backwards in time the camera doesn't always record it will only record when there is motion and this was earlier from when I actually turned the lights off in the room but you see guys we can play back because activity was or there was movement so what the camera is doing is actually recording when there is actual uh, movement in the background so I'm just gonna go back to live to go back to live the simply top live and there you go we're in live mode right now and of course guys as I said, um, there's a number of other cool features. If I want, I could go into settings. And in settings, you'll see it shows you the devices on. You could turn it off. It says device off at. That is if you want to sketch schedule when you want the camera to be turned on. There is the private share. There's the cloud service, which is not necessary, as I said, unless you really want it for off-site backup. You see the SD card, it's normal. If I were to tap on it, you see that 268 megabytes is used and there is a 128 gigabytes available in total. And I'm just going to go back and it says um, video mode event driven. If I want, I could change it to um, normal. I think normal will always be recorded or none, meaning no recording. But for me, event base is okay. Once the camera detects motion, um, you can play video. I chose from SD card. You could also see from the cloud and of course down here It says notification settings. What do you want notifications for and it says event notification includes sound or motion So whenever sound is picked up or any form of motion the camera will start recording and That is a great feature and it says notification frequency receive only a summary. I want to receive it all for notifications if you want there's schedule there's none and there's four notifications that's turned on so meaning I'll get notified on the phone um, if in the case of anything and of course I'll go back here guys and you see it says HD video that's what we want there's the buzzer feature which is off device microphone meaning I can speak through and you can also go ahead and rotate the video 180 degrees Alright, so, and of course, you can reboot the device in case there is issues. A good to reboot your, dev go reboot your device every um, now and again. And of course, you can remove the device. And you can see the Wi-Fi and all that. Now, of course, guys, um, what I'm going to do next for the um, buzzer is uh, I'm just going to turn the buzzer on so you can actually hear what it sounds like. So I'm just going to tap. It says please wait and of course if you look on screen I'm just gonna go back to the main screen so you can see the preview and just notice on the desk and <coughs> there you go So I've turned the feature off and of course it sounds like a cop car which is not a bad for a buzzer you can't customize what the sound um, sounds like but of course it's not bad um, descent volume 
and of course that is all the main features now of course guys as i said all of this just for 35 is not a bad deal because of course other premium cameras can cost way more including double the price or more and you will not get all of these cool features and of course it's loaded with cool features and more features might be added in the future but of course guys um it's your choice as to whether or not you would like to purchase this um, device i highly recommend it it does have some slight flaws but it's far from perfect but for what it does for the price it does it very well so the trade-off is not bad because the video quality is as you can see it is not bad so guys this has been the review of the 35 dollars 1080p um, camera and you can pick this up on amazon i'll put the link in the description as well as the full review where you can actually go ahead and check this out for yourself all right guys i got it from blog tips saying bye until next time guys bye